Hello there, beautiful souls. So today we are going to talk about how to get your first 100 sales on Etsy. So this is something I've talked about with my students for literally forever because the first 100 sales, even the first one sale are the hardest, right? It'll be easier to get 1,000 sales than it is to get 100 sales. But obviously all great journeys start with a single step. And the first and foremost, the thing that you have to realize is that it really is about volume. It's about you having the determination the hunger, the drive to put in the work, right? Everything great takes work. That's just the simple facts of it, right? So I always have the rule of 100 listings, right? That's what I told all my students for years and years and years. Um, when I had, you know, when we did the mentorship, every single student would be like, oh, I've been trying this for, you know, a month or two and I'm not getting the results I want. What the heck? What the heck? And it was like, okay, cool. Well, let's uh, look at your store. How are things going? Let me see. Oh, you have 22 listings and you've made uh, 15 different t-shirts. Well, no, no one has ever achieved a high level of success by making just a couple of things, right? We talked about this before, but you are the eternal cause, right? So whatever you cause, life will be the effect, right? And you're in control of this. So why not grab the bull by the horns, right? And commit, commit to a hundred designs, right? Commit to a hundred designs. A lot of people will talk about listings, that's not it. It's not about having listings. It's about designs, right? Designs. Because we're talking about print on demand and we're talking about making money with t-shirts, right? So you have to understand. You have to figure out what your natural talent is, right? What is your natural style? What is your natural flavor? How is it that you go about designing, right? Because a lot of people will be like, this person had success in this. Why aren't I having success in it, right? Because inherently, you need to design what you know, right? Let that sink in. You need to design what you know, right? So if I'm super into yoga, I'm super into meditation, I'm super into being present or manifestation, uh, then that's what I should design, right? If you're super into books or you're super into, uh, um, let's see, uh, aeronautics, right? You're super into planes, you're super into boats, you're super into fishing, you're super into sports, you're super into uh, um, home building, HG network, gardening, right? Design what you know, right? Stop trying to be everybody else and design what the heck you know. Design what the heck you're good at, right? Because at the end of the day, you got to bring your own unique talents to this world, okay? At the end of the day, you have to bring your own unique talents to this world, right? Because that's what you have to offer, right? Is making something that's unique, making something that's beautiful. So design what you know. It shouldn't be that hard for you to grab a pencil right now, right? Write down 10 things, right? There's gotta be 10 niches, right? There's gotta be 10 things that you know, right? And if you can't think of 10, then at least think of five because if you can think of five then you can find 20 different little things that you can design within those niches right because at the end of the day you got to get to 100 designs i wouldn't even second guess i wouldn't think i wouldn't even use my brain to even have a judgment about how i'm doing until i had 100 designs up right and the funny part is literally student after student after student after student after student year after year after year has always been like oh I'm starting to get my own style. Oh, I'm starting to get some sales. Oh, things are starting to flood in. It's like, it's like the running joke that the, the law of 100 just always works, right? And so if you're struggling to get more sales on Etsy, you're not exactly where you want to be. I encourage you, get 100 designs up, right? That's all you should be focused on. And until then, withhold judgment because it's not important, right? It's not important. You got to find your style. You got to design what you know, and you got to bring something unique to this world. And once you start doing that, you're going to get more success on Etsy. I guarantee it. So I love you and I'll see you in the next one.